In this video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize Google Calendar to Notion using the new Notion API and a website called Automate.io. So first you want to click the link in the description that will take you to Automate.io. You want to sign up, it's completely free and once you're inside you want to go to the Apps tab. This is where you will add all the integrations of the apps you want to use inside of Automate.io. Just click on add new app and search for Google Calendar. Click on Google Calendar and then just click on authorize. And then once you have chosen a Google account you want to use and clicked on allow, then you can just click on save and Google Calendar is added. For Notion it's the exact same thing, just click on add new app, search for Notion and then authorize the connection. Then make sure you're using your correct Notion account and then just click on select pages. Here you can choose which pages you want to allow Automate.io to use and integrate with. So I'm just going to choose this one page and then click on allow access. And then once you click save, your Notion will also be added. Now we can go ahead and create the automated workflow, just click on create a bot. And here you will see your Google Calendar and Notion account has been added. So for the first trigger you're going to choose Google Calendar. You're going to choose event added. And then under calendar you're just going to click on your email address. Now on the right side you want to select Notion. You want to choose add database item. And here you can match the properties from Google Calendar to Notion. So if I go into this Notion page I created you will see I have a task and events database. And if I switch it to default view I have a name property and a date property. So if I go back into Notion. I'm going to select that database which is tasks and events and then you can just leave content and then for the date you want to choose your time zone. Now for start date just click on this plus and choose the corresponding property. So in this case it will be event begins and then end date will be event ends. And then for the name property you want to click on event summary and that's basically it. Just click on save, turn on your bot. Once your bot is turned on you will have to verify this connection. So just open your Google Calendar, add a database item, you can just name it whatever. And then once you've added the item into Google Calendar just click on I'm done and everything should work properly and it will show you congratulations your bot is all good. If you're experiencing any problems just make sure you're using the correct Notion and Google Calendar account and if you've integrated everything properly then the bot should work. Now if I go back into Notion as you can see a new database item has been added. I can go to calendar view and your event will be here. As you can see I can now move this around inside of Notion easily but it won't affect the event inside of Google Calendar. If you want to change that so if you move or update the database item inside of Notion it will update inside of Google Calendar then you can just create another bot and then change the event triggers. You can of course add more properties like tags and a description but I just wanted to quickly show you how it works so you can now play around with Automate.io as you wish. All the other integrations and bots works the exact same way and you have endless possibilities for creating automated workflows inside of your Notion. If you want to find a bunch of different Notion templates you can use to improve your productivity and life in general then you can check out my playlist containing videos about all my different Notion templates. If you want to get access to these templates then you can get them by supporting me on my Buy Me A Coffee website as these templates and dashboards do take a lot of time to create so you don't have to. This really does help support my small channel and I really appreciate everyone who indeed support me. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.